Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It looks like Ava is wanting to get in on this. Thank you, you smell of cow poop. <laughs> I just took her for a walk and gave her a bath, but somehow she still smells of cow poo. Thankfully, today's video is not about cow poo. It's the second part of my first day in London vlog, which if you haven't seen it, go watch the other one before watching this one. It'll make far more sense. Let's crack on. New hairstyle today, guys. It's called Make No Effort Chic. What do you think? Well, this weekend was supposed to be rainy all weekend in London, so I seem to have really lucked out here. Ignore the hair. I don't know what I've done. Yeah, I seem to have really lucked out here, although there are some clouds, so I might need to get an umbrella. But I don't have a coat, have no umbrella. I have one jumper, and that's it, and I haven't packed it, so let's hope the hot weather lasts. This is cool. Coffee out of a van. Very nice. Oh no, it's out of a taxi. That's even cooler. just come to have some lunch. I've got a, a, a wrap and a little blueberry crumble cake, which looks great. So yeah, I'm sat opposite the bookshop, which is full of books and the plays, and I love plays so much, and I'm gonna look afterwards. It's so tempting to go in and have a look now, but I'm like, no, eat your lunch, edit a couple of videos, edit two videos, Joel, and then you can go in um, and then edit some more. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. Three hours later. I've edited three videos, so now I'm letting myself explore the bookshop. This is the best play I've ever seen and read in my life, and I can't believe it's back on sort of the recommended shelf. That was at the Wyndham's Theatre when I worked there and I watched it. I must have seen it about a hundred times. It's so good. Well, I actually got this book, um, which she is a very successful, well-known actress in the UK who's been on Coronation Street and Happy Valley and Broadchurch, I believe. And uh, yeah, I just thought, you know what? I read the blurb. It sounded really interesting uh, to hear her perspective on being a working actor and uh, the trials and tribulations that come with it. And it's a signed copy, so that's cool. Um, anyway, I've edited three videos. I now want to find a shop to read in. Just a coffee shop, somewhere to sit. I can maybe finish my other book. So that is the goal. I've actually come inside the BFI. I've been here a couple of times before, once for a film premiere and once on a date. And there was a nice bar down here way back from the front entrance, so I'm just trying to find it because I'd quite like to sit in there and read, but uh, it's very quiet, which is good for reading, but I feel a bit, <laughs> a bit conspicuous. Yes, this was, oh my gosh, yes, I found it. This is where I have my date, and this looks perfect to sit with a book. Well, I've got my drink. This looks absolutely perfect for me to read my book, curl up in the corner here just realized I didn't just go on one date here. I was thinking I went on a date in that corner over there, which I did with a, a famous person as well. Um, and then I, I also realized I sat exactly here on a date before, because I was like, oh, why do I know this, this part? And I was like, oh yeah, because I sat here and he sat right there. And it was a definite no on, on my end. And it was a yes on his end. And I was like, oh God. Anyway, let's abort those memories and sit down with my book. So this building, this is an extension of the Tate and it was in the media recently because these people in these apartments were complaining that the viewing deck at the Tate looks directly into their apartments and stuff about privacy. So I think they've had to close the viewing platform. But I just think if that's an issue, don't buy a flat here. Do you know what I mean? I can't say I feel that sorry for the multi-millionaires that live in these apartment blocks in central London. Um, anyway, I'm looking for a supermarket now. Uh, I think there's one in this direction or that direction, I just want to get a little snack. I've got a couple of hours in the apartment. I'm going to finish off editing. So I edited the three videos, but two of them need outros. So I need to film that, finish editing, exporting. I need to do a thumbnail for tomorrow's video that's going live. Do a few bits and bobs like that. And then I might just sit and relax for an hour uh, before going out for dinner. I might go into Amazon Fresh. I love this, where you don't have to pay. You just walk out. And then literally I just pick up what I want and walk out and it's sent to it and it'll just charge my Amazon account. It 
just feels so wrong, but so right. <laughs> so I end up getting a protein bar, some mango, and a Pepsi Max. It's just an introvert's dream. I don't have to talk to anyone. It's brilliant. So that will just charge my card, like within 24 hours or something. I have worked with uh, with Amazon Fresh in the past, so I think legally I have to disclose that to you guys because there's rules around content creators recommending brands now and stuff like that. So I have to tell you that I've worked with them, but they have not paid me to say this. I just genuinely love the brand. I mean, who wouldn't love to just go into a shop, pick things off the shelf, no cues, no nothing, no talking to anyone, and just walk out? It's amazing. Uh, it even knows if you put something back. So I've tested it, guys. I've done all the tests. Pick something up, walk around, go back, put it back on the shelf. It knows. I don't know how they do it. It's just incredible. This is the road where my apartment is. And look, here's the rehearsal studios for the Globe. So cool. Right, guys, I ate my snacks and edited, and I've just been on my bed uploading the footage. And now I've got an hour before I need to leave, and so I actually get to curl up in bed at nearly 5 p.m. on a Saturday afternoon and read my book. I am so excited for this, guys. This feels so luxurious. And you know what? Part of me was like, oh, but I've I've paid to come to London, like I wanna, like, do I wanna sit in my apartment? Like, but then I'm like, well, no, because I come to London, like, quite often. What I don't ever have when I come to London is a lovely apartment to make the most of. And also, I've paid for the apartment at an extortionate price for the apartment, so I might as well, how many times can I say apartment? But I might as well make the most of it, and I want to. I'm tired. I've done a big workout class. I've done about 20,000 steps today and I'm going to be walking into central London and home again tonight if I haven't had too much to drink. Uh, <laughs> and yes, I'm probably going to get even more exercise and even more steps. So I'll be knackered. So let's have an hour to finish my book. I'm very nearly done. It's getting really, really good as well. And maybe on the way to meet Rachel for dinner and drinks, I will go and buy the next one in this series. I'm not going to get super drunk, just so we're clear. I just know Rachel has booked us a bar after the restaurant. Rachel takes charge of the bookings, so, you know, she's booked us a restaurant, she's booked us a bar after the restaurant, but I'll probably enjoy a little tipsy walk home, and it's, I know my mum will worry if she, you know, when she sees this, but I'm probably still alive. I mean, I don't know, maybe I die tonight. Joel, it's morbid. But, London's always busy at every single hour, uh, so yeah, and I've walked through rougher places than South Bank at night. South Bank is pretty safe, I'd say, but anyway, let's do some reading. I didn't quite finish my book, guys. I've got like two chapters left, like 20 pages, but I was like, I'll save it. I won't rush it, but yes, I've walked all the way. I've been walking for 57 minutes. I'm now in central London. I'm around Oxford Circus, so I'm just waiting for Rachel to arrive, and then we're going to walk to the restaurant which I have no idea. I'm so tempted to like Google the restaurant, but I'm like, actually, I'm just gonna keep it as a surprise. So uh, yeah, very much looking forward to having a catch up. All our mains have arrived. I've gone for tuna steak and Rachel has gone for... Chicken parmesan and oh cheese. Oh gosh, that looks so much better than mine. Cheese and bacon. <laughs> Lovely, all the essential ingredients. Rachel is from the north and lives down south, and I'm from the south, but I've moved up north, so we've just been chatting about northern things. Words. Words. <laughs> Yeah. Fisticuffs. Fisticuffs. Rufty Tufty. Rufty Tufty. <laughs> love it all. Well, we couldn't resist dessert. This is a Mars bar cheesecake. We're sharing it. We it's are. We are. Well, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just walking home now. I'm, I'm halfway home. I think I'm over halfway. I've sped walk home. This is great. But yeah, it's been a great evening with Rachel. It's been really fun. And I think we spent like four and a half hours together. And like, again, just like chatting, chatting, chatting. I had so much to catch up on. So much has happened in six months in my life and in her life. And it was just like, it's been really great. We had some margaritas at the first place. And then we had a g and Well, I had a G&T and she had wine at the bar at the hotel. It was called Mimi's in Soho. I've never been before. It was very nice. And then we had espresso martinis. But yeah, I've enjoyed this. I've been actually really looking forward to this moment as well, is the walk home at night along South Bank, because this is my favorite place ever, is South Bank at night. I just find it's very creative and very, like it's where, you know, lots of creative thoughts come to me, although less so after a drink of alcohol, um, because my mind can't focus. So that's my own fault. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting into bed now. 
Oh, I'm having a lion. I'm not going to do Barry's boot camp tomorrow. I'm going to have a lion and a restful Sunday morning before meeting my friends for a pub lunch at two o'clock. And that is it. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am really loving editing these these vlogs lately, like the digital detox ones, the day with Lucy and my mum, and then the last London one, this one, and I've still got many more to come. So I'm really, really enjoying editing these. I hope you're enjoying watching them. Thank you as well for all of the lovely comments over on my latest members video. Video, a bit of an impromptu members video. If you'd like to become a member then click join next to subscribe and it'll give you all the options there. I'm also thinking of doing a live stream for you guys. I haven't done a live in so so long. Um, I'm also just prepping for the relaunch of mine and Keegan's podcast Happy Healthy Homo which is coming on Wednesday the 6th of September or 7th. I should know it. It's the Wednesday whatever the 6th or 7th of September is. So things are getting very busy at the moment. But yeah, I'm thinking let's let's fit in a live stream. So let me know what day is best for you guys in terms of a live stream and I'll try to make that work. And anyway, hope you have a great week guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.